Alright guys, Skyblock is finally back, but before we even hop into the episode, if you guys want to come check out the server and get yourself a free rank, I'm probably going to throw a little pre-roll or whatever on the screen, but basically just go to shop.thearchon.com. Um, dot net or something like that. It'll be linked down below in the description and then go to the youtuber free ranks um, Select the origins realm of skyblock and use code royal and you guys will go ahead and get yourself a free $5 rank if you guys want to check out the server There's a ton of custom stuff on the skyblock server So I'm honestly really excited to play it and then make a series on it because skyblock has been missing for so long on the channel But anyways, I just wanted to mention that before this episode actually starts go ahead and enjoy the video Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on Skyblock, okay? You guys can probably already tell by the title and everything, but dude, we are finally back on Skyblock. This has been awaited on my channel again for like the longest time, bro. I have not played Skyblock or Factions in forever, and they're actually both coming back. I think tomorrow's video will be a Factions episode. I can't guarantee that, but I'm just pretty sure it will be. So anyways, guys, today we are on the Archon Origin Skyblock realm. If you guys want to come check out their Skyblock, they do um have payouts i know like a lot of my viewers just love payouts right here is top number one gets 200 dollars paypal and then the rest is by craft so guys i am super super rusty at skyblock have not played in forever and on this server there are so many custom things on here that um i can't make my own island because i simply don't know what i'm going to be doing so we already joined an island if we do slash is top for the first episode we are already in is top number seven now the thing is with these guys apparently they got insided like they were is top number four or something and then they ended up getting insided i don't know who did the insiding i don't even really know these guys that much but anyways i joined them because i love a comeback story dude all right i usually like being the underdog in season so this season, the goal is pretty much going to be uh, to get IS top number five and above. You guys can see right here, we're not far behind the sixth place already. So I definitely think we would be able to do it. But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead, hop into the skyblock start of the world. You guys can see in my inventory, I have myself a July crate right here. So we're going to go ahead, place this thing down, and then just start spinning them. It is kind of loud, but I don't even really know what we want from this crate, dude. I just want to get started on the skyblock season like ASAP, bro. So we got all of this. We got fix all disguise. Oh, legendary crate keys, chunk hoppers, spawner keys. Oh, bet. All right. That is actually looking pretty good. If we do slash crates, we have 20 spawner crate keys, um, seven legendary crates and two or no, two legendaries and seven rares. So anyways, we're going to come over here to warp crates really quickly and we are going to pop open these spawner crate keys. Obviously, I want like IGs or something. They do have custom spawners on here. I don't know how good they are. Zombie Pigman, I don't think is like the best. So we're going to go ahead and keep rolling these. Can we... Oh, we can speed open them. All right, bet. Oh, yo, okay. We just won three Iron Golem spawners. I'm pretty sure that is good. Um, I'm not sure what the top spawner even is on here, but we just won all of these spawners. We have 11 Endermen, six Blaze, and then three IGs, I think. Those are like the main big spawners that we actually care about. So next, we're going to go ahead, pop open these legendary crate keys. I'm assuming anything we get from here is pretty good. I think legendary is like one of the best keys. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can actually get. Oh, dude, a boss lore would have been sick. Four to ten spawner crate keys. All right. So we actually got seven, another seven spawner crate keys. We will go ahead, take it. Ooh, we got evoker spawners. I don't know how good those are, but that is definitely a custom spawner, which is dope. We will take that. We got three more. Oh, creepers are actually good as well. I know creepers are like really good for mob coins. And mob coins is like a huge deal on this server. So you guys can see right here, evokers actually give you 0.75 mob coins and so do creepers. So that was actually a super, super good pool. Um, Iron golems do give you one mob coin each, but uh, I'm not sure if they're really worth it. But I'm not sure if they're really worth to like actually grind manually. You pretty much just want to put them in an automatic grinder, I think. And just farm the money that you get from it. Yeah, if you guys have any tips for uh, Skyblock on Archon, let me know, dude. Because I have never played Skyblock on Archon. So if you guys do and you guys have any tips, definitely let me know down below in the comments. But now that we got all of this out of the way, I'm going to go ahead do slash home. Because they don't want me actually showing off the island home. So I'm right here at home. And they do have like a secret IG grinder that I'm not allowed to show. 
So uh, definitely got to make sure not to leak that. But this setup right here, they said, is fine to show because it's just a regular little four chunk. I just want to make sure I don't leak their uh, actual good IG grinder. So guys, the blaze grinder is actually way over here. And there are some things that I already want to start grinding out in this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and place these spawners in here. They actually do stack. So boom, there we go. Added our 11 blaze spawners and blazes, I think are like pretty good for uh, mob coins which is what we're gonna be grinding where are they oh so blazes actually only give you 0.5 mob coins per kill but i don't think because i know their creepers actually ended up getting incited so again it's just gonna take time to build back up to what they were at before but uh you know i think we can actually grind it out if we come over here to the blaze grinder and there's already blazes here um 1160 pretty solid if we just start hitting it you guys can see in the bottom what um kangaroo boom there we go you guys can see in the bottom left of the chat our mob coin balance slowly going up now with this if we actually go into slash p shop over here these are the power tools on archon they look really really dope to be honest you guys can see these all have like their special ability Ooh, lumberjack's axe so a big thing on this server is actually um slash forest these skills right here, you pretty much just work on your MC Momo. But yeah, once you get like a really high MC Momo, you have a chance to get custom trees that you actually uh, grow on your island. And whenever you water them, you can like sell them for a lot more. I don't know, bro. There are so many custom things on the server. It's insane. So right here is actually where my island's um, trees are. So we have a pear tree right here. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but if we wanted to... We could harvest it for 65000 or we can water this tree again, and it would cost $40,000 to water it, but the next, um, like, harvest amount is 195000 So, if you actually get a big tree farm going, you can make a lot of cash. So, I'm going to go ahead and water these real quick, because I do have $2 million, almost three mil. So, I'm going to go ahead and water these for the island, and maybe we will harvest them um, at the end of the episode, just to see how much money we actually make. So, yeah, probably, like, in the next episode or something, I'm going to show you guys, like, the money. Whoa what so guys if we were to harvest this tree right now we would make 2.4 million dollars which is legit more than my balance that is insane what is this is this a pear tree or oh this is a rose bush tree okay and then this one's also another rose bush but that's three hundred sixty thousand dollars, man that is getting pretty expensive but it's fine you know we're gonna go ahead and do it for the island at the end of the episode i will see if they will let me harvest it but yeah this if you're just starting off on skyblock i'm pretty sure this is like a super overpowered way to make money quick i don't know i'm probably gonna grind my axes mcmmo and then make my own tree farm just to see how much money it makes because i'm definitely trying to help this island out i'm gonna be grinding on here so yeah this looks like a very viable way to make money so yeah guys these power items definitely look overpowered i especially like like this one the icebreaker axe i'm just not sure if this island really pvps like that because there is outpost i know they have like envoys with actual good stuff in them like actual good amount of money so i might have to go solo pvp and we would probably die a couple times this season doing that because if i'm alone going up against an entire island I am most likely gonna die but um i think what we're gonna go for in the first episode is this mob coin sword because mob coins are so valuable in this season we need 3 million xp and we also need to kill 10,000 chickens to actually get this so if we do slash xp right now we legit have 13,000. so grinding out this 3 million xp is probably not gonna be easy but i mean all i can i can just like click right here mindlessly and not even worry about it so yeah i'm gonna sit here grind this out and hopefully in the next clip we can actually get that power tool all right guys so i've been grinding for a super long time um i'm currently recording this clip at four in the morning um we didn't even make it that far if i do slash xp we only have like six hundred seventy nine thousand. but i also have 200 million dollars so if we just go into the ah real quick and then go to special hopefully we can find some xp here so this is a hundred million dollars but that is like 10 million xp that we don't really need so i'm gonna see if i can find one that's maybe a little bit cheaper or do they all go for that price oh my god all right looks like they do i'm gonna go ahead drop the hundred mil on this xp man because i and done grinding the mobs for we only have 33,000 mob coins as well and uh there's a couple things that we can actually spend that on but for right now all we want is we want to go into the p shop and get this power tool right here for the mob coins so guys i'm not gonna lie i completely forgot about the required challenge and i have to kill 
10,000 chickens. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, obviously. But for right now, I do have myself a little grinder set up. Because the island has, like, this super secret grinder that I'm not allowed to show off. So if I just go to home money really quickly, this is my little grinder setup for right now. This is literally just mine. It's just my personal grinder. We have three IGs we can actually add to right now. Boom, there we go. So now we actually have four IGs in this stack. And if we do slash shop, IGs are dumb expensive, bro. But they do drop iron blocks, but they're 23 million per spawner. So they are super expensive. I might as well actually go ahead and buy another one and place it right there so yeah basically with this design they'll just spawn down and then they will come right here and then find my robot and obviously it's set to grinding mobs so the robot will actually just kill the igs for me and then with the chunk hopper way up there all of the iron is gonna stack into these chests i'm pretty sure so guys for right now it is super late so i'm gonna go ahead do slash pet and see if we can actually win a decent pet here so we're just going to go ahead, spin the wheel, I believe, or petting zoo. You can't actually buy the pets for um, like an exact amount, but some of them are a lot more expensive. So this right here, the Doge pet, actually, we can almost afford this thing and it will give you increased mob coins. I'm actually going to go grind out the amount we need real quick for that. Okay, so now we just grinded out the 35,000 mob coins. We're going to go ahead and go back into slash pet. And let me just make sure that this is the one we want to buy because... uh. This is looking like one of the most expensive ones possible. Clownfish is actually super expensive. 50,000 mob coins for that. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and go for the Doge pet real quick. Boom. There we go. Confirm that. And then now we have him right here. So if we just right click him, I believe this is how you level him up. You guys can see he will spawn in. He lasts for 10 minutes. And then like after that, there's like a cooldown. But the longer you have him spawned in, the higher his level um, goes up and then I guess the bigger booster you will get for mob coins I'm not a hundred percent sure how it actually works But we will go ahead and take the pet for right now So anyways guys another thing that I actually want to grind out in this episode is going to be a blaze mob set So we actually have a ton of blaze heads right here It actually just got cleared out not too long ago because I've been grinding for a minute So probably in the next clip I'm going to um, save up bunch of these blaze heads and then you combine them um with like diamond blocks or something and they become enhanced blaze heads and then you can actually turn it into a set i actually already have the boots right here and you guys can see the set effects all right they are pretty good you will get permanent um fire resistance you get resistance one and you get permanent speed one so it is pretty dope and then the special ability for this set is if you hold shift you get speed five for ten seconds and shoot a fireball out behind you so that is pretty cool but yeah anyways for right now i'm gonna go ahead and keep grinding these blazes and i also need to go grind some chickens to buy the power tool for this episode and uh yeah we'll see you guys in a second all right guys so we are finally back in this clip and let me tell you a ton of stuff has changed since the last clip guys i really don't even know the full story of what happened to this island but if i just get out of optifine and take a look around the island, it's not looking good. So, um, apparently, this island already got, like, disqualified from, like, payout or something, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what happened. Again, I don't really know these guys. I just kind of joined them. And, uh, yeah, apparently they got disqualified or something like that. So, they blew up the entire island. I don't, I don't know if they still have the spawners. Like, maybe I could get, you know, like, my four IGs back or something. You know, that would be cool. But, uh, yeah, this island is no longer a thing. So, I guess, I mean, this season I was going to join somebody, but I guess um, it didn't really work out. So, if anybody is still recruiting, let me know down below in the comments or something. But if we do slash IS for right now, on this server you can actually be a part of multiple islands. So, we're going to go ahead, um, shift, right click, and make this our primary island. And we're going to go ahead and just teleport to my island real quick. Um, I literally just set up chicken spawners and then cow spawners to grind out all of the requirements for these P shop um, items because they're very, very good. And you guys already know we already have the XP. So we're going to head to the P shop. We got the 10,000 chickens. Go ahead, buy the mob coin sword. Right now, it's only tier one. Um, shift right click while holding to open the upgrade menu. I don't know what you need to actually upgrade this. Oh, Okay, so this is challenges as well. Um, oh, wait, that's all we have to do to upgrade this thing? We just have to keep killing cows? 
that is no problem bro because i literally just like watch netflix and then just click bro like it is super super easy so now we're gonna go in the p shop and buy the xp sword right here as well because um somebody told me you can actually combine these two or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure how you do it but if you know let me know down below in the comments. Anyways, guys, I think that is actually going to be this Skyblock episode for now. It did not really pan out the way I uh, thought it was. In the next episode, I guess we're going to be setting up some money farms or something on my own island. I don't know if I'm going to be recruiting yet, obviously, because I still rather join another island. But I don't know if anybody's really recruiting because it's already like a week into the map. So in the next episode, probably going to be setting up some money farms. Um, probably going to grind out MCMMO axes off camera and hopefully get some uh custom trees because i know they make a pretty good amount of money and uh, yeah anyways if you guys did enjoy the first episode of skyblock back be sure to drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously claim your free rank and then use royal.archonhq.net it is very much appreciated and uh, yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next skyblock episode